Sarah Hudson Erdman, and welcome to The Transcript. This week, The Transcript listens to the bands of NHS, uncovers a grand old tradition of the football team, and explores the relationship between the administration and teachers at NHS. This is Court Etiquette featuring Johnny Memphis sweeping. Etiquette, a rock group from Northampton High School. I like being in a band because, well, I'm really passionate about music and I think it's important to share that with others and especially kids my age. I mean, it's just like a good way to express myself. Yeah, for bands that influenced me, uh, we all listen to a lot of bands, but uh, mainly if we're talking about vocals, I don't really like to uh, pay a lot of attention to pitch or if I'm just singing well in general. Also with lyrics, uh, I kind of tend to write a lot of things that don't necessarily make any sense, and that kind of You'll see a lot of that in Stephen Malcolmus from Pavement, so as a vocalist, he influences me a lot. Still here, and are you the host? Yeah, I'm the host, Gabe Broder. We're gonna talk about some uh, questions. I like about music, uh, it's a distraction from the everyday crushing pain of existence, and you know. We, um, just, we like the noise because we think it represents the pain and the futility of existence in suburban white America. But uh, it's kind of complicated because these guys were playing together for a while, like last year. Yeah, with we, we, we added them in the, we added them in the uh, band. Music means to me, like, I really uh, enjoy it when we're all playing and, uh, and we're all just sounding really good and if something just clicks and it's like, oh yeah. And <laughs> when that happens, I'm like, oh, this is what music is all about, you know? me and Ethan would jam in American popular music last year and then Ethan was like yo dude we should make a band and I was like that sounds cool me Isaac and Ethan are all in one of the jazz bands at school and I also play in court etiquette Hey, welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? We have finally come to the conclusion of all of our fall sports introductions. So this week we are highlighting two of the most important fans for the Northampton football team. 
Hello, and welcome to week seven of Hamped Up. I'm here with Ryan and his grandmother, and Cyrus and his grandmother, and we're here to talk about the football team. So the first question for you is, what has it been like to watch Ryan play football from when he was a little kid to now his senior year in high school? I enjoy just coming to his game, supporting him, and uh, he's teaching me all about football because I never cared for football too much. But since I've been going to his games since he was a little boy, uh, I enjoy coming and learning all about the football team. What has it been like watching Cyrus play since he was little and now he's a senior at the high school? It's been great. I've uh, not only watched him, but so many of his friends that he went through school with. Uh, when they come out onto that field running to meet the opponents, my heart gets a little beat. I remember <laughs> when they stand there with their helmets raised after the national anthem, it makes me feel very proud. What has it been like for you having her in the stands for every game? Uh, well, it's always great to have people supporting you, um, and I know with her, it's you know she's one of my main support systems. So it's great having her at as many games as she can get to. Her and my mom at every single game, no matter what, if it's raining, if it's snowing, whatever, they show up, and I have a really loud family. So when I'm in there, I can hear them and Coach Sledge 24/7. I mean, they're not yelling at me, they're yelling like for me. Coach Sledge will be yelling at me, so it's, like, <laughs> it's good to have that. Does she ever give you coaching advice? Whenever I have a great game, I always hear about it from everyone. Uh, she always is optimistic. Sometimes it'll be like my mom with the criticism, and then she comes in and helps me out, makes me feel better, especially if it's like I had a really good game, but I did one thing kind of bad. I'll hear it from my, my mom and not my grandma, so she's like the, she's the positive my side grandma. of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck the rest of the season, thank and you. thank you for being on Hamped Up. Tonight, the Northampton football team will look to secure the number one overall spot in the Division Three Western Mass Tournament. In other sports news, the boys soccer team, girls soccer team, boys and girls cross country, and the field hockey team will all be going to the playoffs after wrapping up their regular seasons this week. Hi, I'm Nell Sanders, and this is Tell It Like It Is, Halloween edition. <laughs> this week I caught up with teachers and administration on doing the do now in their classrooms each period. So, what does that mean? I had a do now I did when I taught in Brooklyn mm -hmm. that went like this. I put it on the board. What would you do now if you could do now what you want to do now, now? Wow. Yeah, and then the kid, I made the kids write about it. And mostly they said, not be here. I accepted that. <laughs> well, NHS administration has made a heavy suggestion to all teachers that they start each class off with a do now problem, question, or activity. Every single teacher in all subjects are recommended to do this. We felt that there were situations going on where teachers um, weren't or a teacher were not engaged, having something, a routine um, established to that engage students. So that would be an individual conversation that we can help. Um, you know, words like push back, uh, get, get aggressive. Yeah. While some teachers have been doing do nows for a long time and believe in this activity. I've been doing do nows uh, pretty much as long as I can remember teaching. Um, I do it one for like time efficiency. I want students to be doing biology work from the moment that they come into class. Um, so they know what to do. They come in and they just get started. So it's sort of an initiative taking thing. Many teachers are not happy about having to introduce each period with what some teachers call a waste of time requirement. I I worry about, um, and this is not necessarily just for Northampton High School, but in general, you know, I worry that um, that lessons could become rigid, or that there's a formula um, set up that does not necessarily apply to every teacher, every class, um, every discipline. An anonymous teacher even said they would be in jeopardy of losing their job if they spoke their true opinion. 
Another teacher anonymously questioned whether the do now should be, quote, unilaterally mandated by administrators with little or no faculty and or student input, end quote, and should rather be an open and ever evolving discussion. Make sure to go to nhstechnology.org to see more from the transcript. And come out tomorrow to see Northampton High School's very own improv troupe perform in a benefit for the Survival Center at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Mm -hmm.